Hi Toby, it's Aidan here from Southwest Systems. I'm the Managing Director. So just giving you an overview of the back office software. So you have your drop downs here for head office and all the different branches here. Head office, you can obviously change products prices, make a global change for everything. You've then got this dashboard here when you first pop in. So in real time, what each the head office in total is doing or each branch is doing, you can, you can basically analyze it down there. And then you've got cash card, net sales, uh, total of what's going on. You've got hourly breakdown. You've got last 100 sales, POU sales, staff. These all can be uh, exported to PDF, CSV, and you can quickly change the um, options here, like this month, last month, or specify any date range. In terms of the report, there's lots of reports. So you've got the time attendance reports, if you have that. And if you have, if you have that optional integration, monthly fee onto it, which I'd sent to uh, your manager, uh, we can do that as well. You've then got all the product reports are sort of three quarters of the way down. There's absolutely loads. So you've got PLU by, the most common be PLU sales by department. So it's this one here. All the reports you can run any date range. Uh, you can choose a specific department. You can choose specific staff. You can, uh, if you're using stock, you could use any by any supplier. They can all be viewed or exported to PDF and Excel by any date range. So this is the sales here: Americano, flat white mocha tea for all the sites. If I just wanted to look at the fish pond site, you just go on fish pond site and then PLU sales by department, and then it would load the data. So you just choose the site or look at all the sites, however you want to do it. Um, so that's that there and then you've got other things like so at the end of day batch report in the fish pond site um, they just go submit this is this is literally the same as the Z on the till you still do the Z on the till printer Z, Z read and then you've got net sales ca uh, cash card uh, cancel vo voids refunds wet dry any departments here and who's which staff have taken what and who's done any voids no sales and the same for tax, so tax sales for your accountant. This is normally exported to PDF or Excel. Like I said, all the reports can be exported to PDF or Excel. So there we go, tax at 20% and zero VAT for a coffee shop. Um, so what's taxable? And then the t tax to pay is 49.60 for that day. If I want this uh, to look at staff, you go clerks, staff, you just choose all your staff here, change the PIN number. Uh, products is where you do all the products, so um, you can actually sort in here. Uh, so say you want to do products, say you want to search by um, just the hot drinks. This will then display Americano, you know, Americano flat white mocha tea, etc. Change the price when it's red, it goes for pending price change. So if you did that in head office, if you did that in head office, a price change for those products, it would go to all the sites, so you wouldn't have to go into each site to do it. And then Americano. There's lots of information here. I won't go into too much, but you've got uh, options, so you can have like how cooked, you know, milk type, all the stock up to four suppliers here, minimum max, uh, you know, unit size one of one or a case, current stock level, other terminal flags in here. We can do online ordering as well, QR code, table ordering if you ever want that, and also we support allergens. So you just tick, you know, what allergens you want per product, and it can pop up or say there's allergens. Um, the stock. In terms of the stock reports, so do you remember I said on the view that basically if you go three quarters of the way down, you've got the um, you've got the PLU reports. So here, so like PLU detailed, PLU allergen list, PLU sales, PLU sales by department, PLU sales by group. Uh, so group would be wet and dry or food and drink. If you go further down, you get the stock control part. So you can look at like for instance PLU current stock. PLU sold by supplier, PLU stock by supplier. So again, like I said, all the reports can be sorted by department. So if I just want to look at the soft drinks or the hot drinks, and you can do it by head office or you can do it by each branch. Um, so at the moment, the stock is negative. It's been going negative, but however you want to do it. And then there's loads of other reports. You just click on the reports you want to run. You might find there's reports that are relevant to you. You might find that it's not relevant. Um, so, yeah, and in the stock area, when you have the stock, you get orders, transfers, wastage, case sizes, suppliers, recipes, start a stock take, uh, do a stock take. And obviously that can be done in each site for, by each manager to do that, however you want to do it. 
And then the stock can do the ordering, so the purchase ordering with suppliers. You choose an order, choose a supplier, order the stock, and it can email and you can email the order as well, print it, save it to PDF, email it, or auto email it. And then we have, which might be of interest to you, Toby, you can look in each site and basically this is the so I'm looking in the fish pond site again. Anything red here means it's come up saying it's a discrepancy, either a refund or a void or a no sale. So you know, you can look at each operator here. It says it's Sean and what they've taken. And you can also keyword filter, void, refunds. And the same with the till reports. It would say here if there's been any Z reads, etc. All right, that's really the core of it. Um, so, we yeah, we can integrate S4 Labour, that additional cost. We can do the time and attendance. That's no problem at all. The time and attendance is done in here. So pay rate, it does it on the back office, but I imagine S4 Labour, it integrates with it, and there's other things in S4 Labour that you can do, that, but that will be with S4 Labour directly. A stock we can do, and yeah, uh, I hope that helps, and if there's anything else you need, just please let me know. There's lots of reports, like I said, so, you know, loads, and we can do, you know, online ordering if you ever need that in the store. It's another monthly cost, but if you ever do want that, or self-service uh, kiosks in the store, Little 21.5 inch counter kiosks, we also do that as well. Thanks for your time, Toby.